All right, bit of a wardrobe change. I got an appointment I'm going to, which I'll talk about in the next video. But I wanted to make a quick update to my formal apology to Richie because as it sometimes happens, I don't have a script. Like I say, I don't have a script for these videos. I just turn the camera on and I just blah, blah, blah and send it. So I don't always get my message across. And sometimes it's taken out of context because I didn't get my thoughts out of my head. And it's evident in the comments below because <laughs> some people, um, you know, uh, you're getting what you deserve. It's karm. Like you were hateful to Richie. So now you're getting it back. Guys, I didn't say that in the video, but that video was not a boohoo. I'm getting hate. Oh, I'm actually not getting that much hate. I'm really actually not. And that video wasn't at all about boohoo. Poor me. Like stop hating. Like I can take it guys. I can take it. Ultra marathoners are crazy. We have very strong minds and it's going to take a lot more than a little bit of hate down in the comments by a bunch of strangers, possibly even bots to break this guy. I say a lot of favorite quotes, but one of my favorite quotes is by a famous ultra marathoner. And that goes, make friends with pain and you will never be alone. I know it sounds crazy, but like I said, ultra marathon runners are crazy. Like it takes a certain kind of person to put your body through that, but that's why we do it. It's like an addiction. It's a sickness almost. How far can we push? How hard can we push our bodies and our minds? Can we break? Can we push ourselves to the limits to break? Like, I'm not a service member and I highly respect service members. Thank you for your service. Oh, but I always wish there was an option to do like a hell week, like the Navy SEALs do just to see it. Cause I'd, I'd sign up for it. I'd want to, I'd want to see if I could do it. But anyways, so that apology was not at all about boohoo me. And another thing taken out of context, like whether you agree with Richie or not, his actions, that's not what it was about. Cause I know a lot of people disagree. Like, me included. I disagree with his actions, which is why I did the things that I did. But the point is, if you're not a part of the solution, then you're a part of the problem. And I have said many times that there is so much negativity and toxicity and hate in this community. And I was a part of that. So as a man, as a person raising children, I was not proud of the way that I acted. I shouldn't have done what I did, which was to say really hateful things to Richie in the comments. And I'm embarrassed about it. I'm embarrassed to myself so i apologize to richie and i wanted to apologize to the community as a whole because again if you're not a part of the solution you're a part of the problem and i was a part of that problem i should have taken the high road i should have been the man that i tr i strive to be the example for my children i strive to be and i should have just just should have left it i shouldn't have wrote that because the, some of the things i wrote were very fucking childish so i'm embarrassed about it and richie you made that response video I do owe you that apology. And I am sorry because those things that I said, they just weren't me. I just, I got caught up in it and, and I'm really fucking embarrassed about it. So hopefully this makes more sense. There's probably still going to be people that prove me right down in the comments by sending their hate, but send it. I can take it. You will not break me. You won't. Peace.